Hello everyone and welcome back to another screencast. This one is on number and it's simple interest. And like the name has said, it's very, very simple. They do try and trip you up and we're going to look at some of those things they try and do as we go along. So this is what simple interest is. It's a basic way of calculating quick interest. It's worked out by calculating the percentage amount and multiplying it by the number of periods the money will be invested for. Let's make some sense of that by doing a few questions. So James invests £200 for one year in a bank account. The account pays simple interest at a rate of 3% per year. Work out the total amount of money in the account at the end of the year. So for this question, there's two ways to do it. I'm going to show you both ways. But what you have to understand is that James is going to have his initial investment plus an additional 3%. So that's what we're going to work with. We're going to work with 103% because he's going to have 100% of his investment plus 3% as well. So let's write that down uh, as a decimal for a start. So we've got our 200 pounds and we're going to multiply it by 1.03 because that is 103% as a decimal. Now if we put that into our calculators and we press equals, we'll end up with 206 pounds. So we know in James's account, he's going to have 203%, which is 206, because 3% of 200 is 6 pounds, isn't it? And all we would do is we'd take our 200 and we'd add the 6 pounds to it to give us our 206. So you can see how I've done it both ways. If he's going to have or she's going to have uh, investment plus 3%, that's going to be 103%, which is 206. Um, and we'll get through some questions where they're actually just asking for how much money has James made or you know Rebecca made or whatever. Okay, so we'd put 206 in there. Okay, so let's have a look at the next style of questions, which is a little bit different. So Sammy invested £400 for two years at 5% uh, per year, simple interest. Work out the total interest Sammy will get. So we're not looking for how much money is in the bank account at the end of the two years. We're just looking for how much money Sammy has made. So very, very simple on this one. We've got 5% over two years. So if we take... Uh, those figures and we say 2 times 5% then Sammy would uh, expect to get 10% over the 2 years. So now we're going to use that information in a simple way. We're going to take our 400 and we're going to times it by 0 0.1 because that is 10% as a decimal. Okay, 10% of decimal. We put that into a calculator and it pumps out 40 pounds doesn't it 40 pounds so you can see there the reason why I haven't gone 1.1 is because it's asking just for the interest on this one just for the interest so Sammy would get interest of 40 pounds after the two years 5% plus another 5% because it's 10% we've worked that through so let's have a little look at this one Faith invests 800 pounds for three years into a bank account the account pays simple interest at a rate of 0.4% per year. Just be careful, this is not 4%. Work out the total amount of interest Faith is going to have at the end of the three years. So just remember what we do. We take our percentage, we multiply it by the number of years, and then we take that figure and we use it through. I'd like you to give this a little go. It's quite a tough question, actually, but I'd like you to use your common sense. You're either going to get it right or you're going to get it wrong. But if you get it wrong, I'm sure you won't be a million miles away. So pause the video, give it a go, and come back and see if you've got it right. So here we go. First thing we do is we take our percentage and we times it by the, the, uh, the years. So we've got 3 times 0.4 or 0 0.4. That's going to give us... 
1.2%. This is why this was a little bit difficult, because I think some of you might have then just applied that to the 800. But remember, 1.2% is not 1.2. It's actually going to be 800 times by 0 0.0. 0, 1, 2. And we multiply that through and we end up with £9.60p. So you can see there that was a little bit of a tricky question because of this here. Some years would have worked it out as 40% over the three years. All right, so give this one a go. Nice and simple question for you. Uh, we've got 2,700 invested for two years at 5% per year. Simple interest. Work out the total interest. So hopefully you've had some time to answer that. It hopefully was a nice and simple question for you. We've got 2,700, and but it'll be over two years. So it's two times 5%, which gives us 10%. We go 2,700 times in by 10%, which is 0 0.1. And we end up with the answer of 270. And there we go. It goes in there. So that's the total interest. All right, so hopefully you found that nice and easy. It was pretty quick, so we got through. Uh, if you struggle, don't be afraid to go back and watch the video a few times. As always, write a revision card. Um, it's been a pleasure helping you with your maths today. All the best.